All right, Aries, welcome to your weekly sidereal forecast for June 1st through the 7th. Happy June, everybody. So this uh, week, we have a full moon in your 8th house in Scorpio here on Tuesday. And this is all about the... Uh, the truth, you know, the eighth house is uncovering the truth, the depth of who we are, what life is about, the meaning of life and uncovering the um, perhaps even sacred truth. You know, eighth, the eighth house can sometimes be uh, personal, but it can also be esoteric. It can also be external. And so with your rule, uh, excuse me, with Saturn there, um, perhaps you've been taking the, uh, you know, serious approach to the truth lately since the since the tail end of last year. And so that's good. And this full moon is going to be activating that. And here, uh, the full moon always gives the awareness and the culmination of a lot of things that um, are relating to the eighth house. Eighth house can also be shared resources too. For those of you who've been involved with something like that, creating bonds or sharing things over the past uh, six months since you had a new moon there or over the past two weeks since we had that new moon in your second house. And this is also a culmination point of perhaps these new things, new, new initiations uh, that perhaps you've started here in your second house relating to your values, resources, the material side of life, the enjoyment of life, the simple life. And um, now that could be coming to a culmination since the past two weeks. So all in all around the uh, uh, second, which is Tuesday, I think there is this awareness, this illumination of those areas. So I think just like with all full moons, it'll be good to reflect during that time. Uh, the moon is debilitated in Scorpio. So the energy of the moon doesn't necessarily like to be here because the moon is very protective and likes to keep things um, within. Uh, ruling the fourth house in cancer. Um, and so in the eighth house, it exposes things. So I think the more willing we are, all of us, all signs, willing to open up, um, you know, and expose the inner elements of things, which for you is very much about that because the moon does naturally rule your fourth house. The more willing you are to be open, both with yourself and others, I feel, um, will be facilitating the truth and it'll create that clarity and even culmination and awareness of a lot of these things relating to both the second and the eighth house here. So it's always a very powerful time, always a very transformative time. And the willingness to see the truth is, makes it a very positive thing. Now, Monday through Wednesday, Mercury, who's still retrograde in your second house. Um, I think you've been reflecting on this, uh, you know, these resources and things of that nature. You know, your values and, and even maybe even finances, redoing things on that level is going to be trining up to the North Node. And in fact, all of the aspects this week are harmonious trines and, and sextiles. So uh, in this case, for the first half of the week, Monday through Wednesday, Mercury from the second will be trining up to the North Node in your sixth. So with the North Node in the sixth, this whole year has been uh, a flow and an opportunity for you guys to uh, take care of your health, your routine, your diet, your regiments perhaps even developing crafts and helping others improve as well. So all very supportive with these things um, this first part of the week. So I really recommend um, a lot, you know, getting the routine straight and putting in the energy into the sixth house. Um, I think you'll find that very supportive with perhaps this reflection. And Mercury was not in a good position last week. He was squaring up to Neptune. So perhaps there's a lot of new uncovering this week where things are going to start to flow based on perhaps the spiritual or inner reflection that you were doing last week relating to, again, the second house matter. So in either case, all is flowing with that, but I really do recommend the sixth house activities, developing crafts and self-improvement as uh, assisting and supporting the, this uh, reflection and perhaps redoing that you're involved with in the second house. Now, around Wednesday, Venus changes signs. She goes into your fourth house. So at the bottom of the chart where she likes to be, uh, she is in an enemy sign here in Cancer for all of us. But all in all, I think Venus, um, you know, will be um, uh, always, you know, it's always enjoyable. Even when she's in an enemy sign, it's usually just that it takes the, um, the sort of not negative, but the unbalanced aspects of Venus out, which can sometimes be um, an overindulgence and things of this nature. And this is really highlighted, I feel like, too, because Jupiter is here. Jupiter is well placed in sign here. Uh, but in either case, I think finding the, uh, the balanced approach to, in this sense, home and family, right? Fourth house, your past, your roots, all of these things can be very enjoyable when you're finding that middle path, middle road with that, maybe even connecting to relationships uh, in that fourth house area with home and family, even connecting emotionally with others. And this all relates back to 
um, your second house, which is ruled by Venus here, which is the uh, material side of things. So I think here connecting to uh, just your emotions in general will be facilitating um, the second house matters. You know, this is the sentimental energy, the fourth house. It's our feelings. It's the internal state of things. And um, that can be very uh, helpful, very supportive, especially uh, on Friday and Saturday, which I'll talk about when she trines up to Saturn. But um, on Thursday, from Thursday through Sunday, Mars is going to be sextiling up to Jupiter. So this is your ruler. This is a very, very positive aspect. Any sextile from Jupiter, positive element from Jupiter is always very supportive, especially uh, when it's your ruler here. So you can see if, you know, if last week, you know, there was this nebulous and fog, this is a week where the energy starts to get moving again. And it's coming in from uh, the fourth house here where Jupiter just recently went into Leo, actually. So I think we're all finding the, uh, the, uh, I don't know, ability to express ourselves very well and enjoying that perhaps. Um, and so that is all very supportive. But again, it's coming through the fourth house. So there's been opportunities for about the past six months in relation to um, home and family, your past, your roots, these fourth house matters. And all of that should be going very well, I would say, this week from that uh, sextile. And then all of your initiations from Thursday through Sunday, especially relating to the second house, should be going very well as well. Now, on Friday and Saturday, you have Venus trining up to Saturn. So here, uh, very supportive, like I was saying, with the home and family side of things. I mean, your fourth house is just really getting some positive uh, energy this week. And uh, here, uh, Saturn is getting positive trine from Venus. So I really recommend building those connections, building your values, you know, building anything in the home and family sector uh, over the weekend would be very supportive. And I feel like uh, your connections are actually supporting you in these structures that perhaps you've been building uh, with the bonds, with the deeper elements of life, you know, deeper connections, whatever it's been for you, uh, with Saturn recently going into your eighth house, you know, taking these these truth, these these changes in life very seriously. But all that I feel like is very supportive uh, this week, especially Friday and Saturday. So all in all, I think um, it's an, it's a week of flow. I think with the full moon, the energy is still going to be high before and after. So this whole week, pretty much. And uh, your ruler being sexed down by Jupiter from uh, Thursday through Sunday, I think is very supportive for you guys to keep expanding whatever motivations and drives that you have been pursuing, particularly over the past two weeks uh, relating to this whole Taurus energy of uh, your values, your resources, finances, the material side of life and everything else Taurus related. So Aries, I hope you guys have a nice week. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you're new to this form of astrology, do check out MasteringTheZodiac.com or if you'd like a personal session and I'll talk to you all next time. Take care.